is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is, of course, Aprilia AI here, and today we're going to be looking into another AI platform. This one is called C-Art, which is trying to be a form of a Swiss army knife, trying to have all of these features under a one roof. So essentially, you can generate audio here, images, you can do text-to-video, image-to-video, and there's even LoRa training here. So for people who are trying to kind of like save on money by not subscribing to multiple different AI platforms, this might be an ideal choice, especially now that they do have a discount promotion going on. And FYI, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm just saying that they happen to have a discount campaign going on right now. There are a lot of different things that they support, and we're going to be looking into some of them, obviously, in this video. Not absolutely everything, but things that people are most interested in. And one of the obvious things here is the images. That's something that a lot of people seem to want. And obviously, some people are interested in video, some are audio. And basically, there is a support for Flux, which is kind of one of those higher end options out there. And they do have free uh, points that you're going to be getting when you sign up, I believe 1000 credits, when you're going to be first signing on to the platform, maybe you get less than that right now because this is a bit of a like older account or something like that but there are different types of tasks that you can do on the platform to get more credits it is a chinese run platform and you can always tell from a lot of these types of texts and everything that they have going on for the font they always use the same fonts on china but that's because of the you know the cantonese and the symbol of mandarin is basically using all the same fonts on every single website but Yes, this is like a test of flux, I think, you know, pretty good quality over here, you know, I mean, there's some very, very small of pixelation, but nothing that an upscale wouldn't be able to fix. And let's look into some of the other images that have been prompted out here. So there are a lot of Loras here available that people can use. And that is actually very, very good, like ID photos, I guess people want to print out, well, something maybe even illegal for a passport or something like that. These look quite impressive in my opinion. So they're not really that many paid platforms which do have like one set Loras. They usually might have a couple of different models like Leonardo has, for example. But ultimately, I think this is not half bad to have multitude of Loras. Obviously, because we're YouTube, I can't show absolutely everything here that's listed. But it seems to have a lot of support for a bit more adult looking content by the looks of it. So based on a lot of Loras here. So people who maybe like to generate a bit more lived content, maybe this is also a good option for you. At least that's what I saw, but there are some filters around here for sure. I know China is restricted about certain types of things, but when I look at these generic images over here, there is good quality stuff over here. And a lot of like upscaling AI image things are totally free. We have talked about them on the channel before. I'm gonna link a video in case you haven't seen it, won't, uh, seen it yet but they are mostly free so we don't really have to worry about the image being cut kind of bad initially it's more about the design and everything and we can upscale from there onwards so yes so it has a flux support it has an ai face swap so there's basically different types of videos where you can basically insert a face and it will do you just put your own face into the dancing and stuff like that I mean, I guess people want to flex out that they can actually dance. Not that these women are that good dancers in the first place. I just watched a couple of those videos and they didn't seem that impressive. But it's another feature. Then there is obviously the video generation. The video thing is kind of like the most cutting edge stuff right now. That's the one that I'm most interested in. And they actually do have a guide over here which goes into how to do this. And there are a couple of different things that are behind um a paywall so like hyper super quality so i'm going to show you a couple of things that i prompted out so this was based on image to vid and as we have covered some of these video platforms in the past it is granted that yes when you do image to video from versus text this is text to video the quality is going to be a million times better so here is uh, another one that i basically used from image to video I had no prompt for this one. You can start frame and end frame on it. There's a quality thing, but the quality is behind the VIP feature, which we're gonna be talking about a bit later on. But this quality actually was very nice. It's a very abstract style of image in the beginning with, so I don't know what it could have basically do with it in terms of animation, but I am liking it. 
And in case you don't need to also add the end frame, you can just use the start frame, same as the end frame, if you want to do like a more loopy image. Here's another video that I tried to do. And I guess it's kind of pointless to really review it because we should have the quality model. Is that going to be doing higher pixelations, like a higher resolution? This feels like 3060p or something like that. I, I don't know how exactly this is, but that's, that's what it feels like. And you can reprompt this. If you want to, there's three different aspect ratios, 16 to nine, one to one, and nine to 16 for phones. You can even add 13 seconds. Let's add like one. And it takes around three minutes per video to basically get generated. So it's not that, I mean, we have seen some of these like high lures and we have covered before, which have seen significant upgrades recently. We got to talk about them in a future video, but fundamentally like it's not too long of a waiting time because a lot of these very popular ones have like crazy wait times. And then there is the AI audio. So there's basically some people who have done, let's try this Hazenberg out here. Let's see if this is actually correct at all. You are goddamn right. Ismail Yasser. Okay, listen. Oh, Ellison, you make me feel so. Okay, <laughs> not listening. The rest of that, but okay, this is, I'm using really, really bad headphones, but I guess it did somewhat sound like Heisenberg. And there are a multitude of these different AI things here. We've got Mario, Robert De Niro, a lot of celebrities here. So in case you're looking for prompting something quite more like a similar to that for funds and memes, I you have a lot of options here. So that's actually not too bad. And yeah, so I like this once again, that there's a lot of like these, a lot of these other AI platforms don't have like licenses obviously to these people like this might be borderline illegal but we obviously don't care so the thing is that this kind of like the chinese platforms don't really care about copyright as much so that's like an edge for people who want to have specific character specific copyrighted content produced so if you want really producing you know content from people of names names you like this is definitely a good place to do that. Then there's a comfy UI. This is just another interface that you can do. Let's see if it actually shows us the interface we have. Yeah. Okay. This is definitely comfy UI. You know, if you're familiar with this, you know, you know what to do. I've tried to play around with it myself. It's not my liking, but it's, it's not that hard as it looks to be. Then there is lore training here. So there are a lot of people. Okay. There's a lot of be more flaggy style content, which we're probably not able to show you here, but okay. There's a lot of options there. Then there is canvas. I actually, this is probably just for illustrations. So did it actually prompt the Xbox controller here? It doesn't mention that, but yeah, so there is a decent image prompting features over here. We have obviously characters and you can do well, a lot of pole dancing apparently and other things, but okay. So it does AI audio. It does video. It does text to video. There's dancing videos, illustrations, a lot of different content. Now let's go into, well, most people are going to be caring about is the pricing. So we have the beginner that is two euros and 60 cents per month. And I have to say, this is quite affordable package. A lot of image generation platforms start around $10. I think that's around mid journey's cheapest right now. And that is 9,000 images per month. That is by 512 by 512. We don't care about that because we can scale that. So that's not really a problem. The dimensions is really what matters. There are free creation also on the standard model. So you can basically create without credits, but then it says like 12, 20,000 images per month. So which one is it? Is this for different types of things, private generation, fast generation, but in case, in case you want to do that high resolution video, you have to actually get the standard package that is five, five, which is not bad at all. This is 50% off as of right now. So that's a very cheap, affordable entry. And you can run multiple generations and you can run Laura training tasks. I don't know how many Laura's you can train at the time, maybe infinite. That's pretty nice. And then on the 
more expensive models. It just gives you more images, but basically almost identically the same features. I mean, the master doesn't even a lot of make sense. I would just go professional unless you have some type of a family account, which is prompting a lot of stuff. And you can also buy credits, which I don't really recommend. I can already crunch the numbers here without looking at them that this is not the same value of proposition and definitely not worth it. So I would say like everything here is obviously using a lot of existing stuff out there. But my end verdict is that, yeah, we're kind of seeing that this has a lot of different things that you can do in all in one. So if you really need to have all of these services, which we went through the audio, the video and the images, this is kind of like a good package deal. In my opinion, can you name a single other platform that has audio image generation and video generation? and lower training. Lower training is not for everybody, obviously, but those three, is there a single platform that does all those three? Um, I don't think so. So that's kind of my verdict on CR. Obviously, if you're looking for a lot more specialized video creation or a lot more specialized image generation, you are gonna be finding free alternatives and probably other better alternatives that will have more of the models that will be a lot more closer into what you might be looking for. But what is this novel feature? Okay, so you can even like do chat GPT rise different types of stories here in case you're like trying to do that. But thanks for watching guys. In case you want to check it out, there's a link down below in the description. It's a referral code, not an affiliate link. I'm not getting paid or anything, but it's whatever you want to use my link or whatever. I don't, it's up, up to you. But I would appreciate you if you leave the comment and liked and maybe even try to subscribe if you want to have more coverage on the latest and the newest AI different tools out there and comparing the services, this might be a good channel for you. But thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video.